Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon. I'm an author and speaker and author of 10 published books, including these little beauts. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Welcome to Twin Flame Answers, where I answer one of your Twin Flame questions. And the question you have today is, how can I stop the pain of my Twin Flame journey? Now rest assured, I have three big answers for you to this question. The last answer is by far the most powerful, so make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. So if you tuned into this video or to the title of the video, you're probably wondering why you are still experiencing so much pain on your twin flame journey and you just want it to stop. You're sick of this, you're sick of the pain, you're sick of the crying, you're sick of all of the sorrow that is in you, the obsession, those negative feelings that seem to come and go at the most unexpected times and you are weary, fatigued, and done. You're done with the pain. You don't want this twin flame pain anymore. And you wish that it would just go away. So I'm going to counsel you on this and show you how to become the empowered divine feminine. Number one is total acceptance of what is happening total acceptance. So have you ever heard the phrase, what you resist persists? What you resist persists. That means that if you are trying to push away the pain, if you're trying to ignore it, turn a blind eye, distract yourself from the pain, or taking alcohol or pills or smoking weed or whatever it is, just to try to get rid of the pain, then that is not the way to go about it. The way toward the light is to go toward the pain, as Rumi once said. I don't know if that was Rumi or Hafiz, but it is to move toward the pain, to accept that the pain is here and accept that the pain is here to teach you a lesson and to show you something. So acceptance is about embracing what is and looking for the answers from what is in this present moment. That is one of the biggest lessons in enlightenment and spirituality, if you don't know that yet, is to really look head on as to what is this thing? What is this situation? What is this person or experience trying to teach me? What do I need to open my eyes to see that I am actually not seeing at this present moment? And so if in any way you are creating resistance to the experience of pain in the twin flame journey, then you're not learning from it in the way that you could be learning from it. Now, sometimes, just sometimes, we need to feel that pain and feel miserable because that's just where we're at in that day, right? It's just to feel the pain and feel completely miserable and crawl under the covers and cry and watch a good movie or listen to some good music. And sometimes that's exactly what needs to happen. But most of our misery comes from not accepting what is. Okay, I'll give you that little clue right there. I'll say that one more time because I think that lesson is super important. Most of our misery, most of our suffering is because we are not accepting what is, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind today. If you're feeling suffering, if you're feeling misery, if you are feeling emotional turmoil, it's probably because you're not accepting what is. Also, the pain is there to awaken you to your higher self. So oftentimes the pain is about the ego that does not want to let go. The ego wants to hold on at all costs and is not willing to let go. So in that way, you will be experiencing the pain, but really looking at the pain, like you would go into a museum and really look at a painting and study that painting and look at all the colors and the pixels and the shapes or whatever you're looking at in the painting. 
in the same way, it's important that you look at your pain on the twin flame journey and you really look at it and analyze it, welcome it in so that you can learn from it. Number two, talk to your twin flame divine masculine in the 5D. Often what happens when we are experiencing a lot of pain on the twin flame journey, it's because we are receiving signs and synchronicities and our divine masculine has something that they need to say to us in the 5D. And it's something often that we're not receiving. And so we will experience a lot of longing, sorrow, pain, especially when it's connected to our divine masculine. When we begin to think about them, when we begin to look at their picture, when we begin to remember the moment of the heart activation, we feel tremendous pain, tremendous sorrow. And often if it is persistent in that way, your divine masculine in the 5D has something that they need to say to you. And so regular communication in the 5D with your divine masculine twin flame is a necessity in order to rid yourself of the intense pain of the twin flame journey. And if you are unfamiliar of how to voluntarily communicate in the 5D with your divine masculine, in my Twin Flame Divine Feminine Bootcamp number one, I do teach you how to do that. Number three, understand what is yours. Most of us that come to the Twin Flame journey are highly empathic. We are light workers, we are sensitive souls, and we tend to pick up on other people's energy. Not only other people, but we tend to pick up on collective energy. And right now in collective consciousness, there is a great divide. There is a lot of really crappy undertones of negativity, a lot of negative energy. And it is possible that you are picking up on a lot of the negativity and the negative energy, and you're taking it on as your own. Additionally, this is what you could be doing, Twin Flame. You could be picking up on your divine masculines suffering and taking on your divine masculine's suffering as your own as well. So first and foremost, if you happen to be taking on negativity from the collective and feeling a lot of pain, sorrow, sadness, depression, anxiety, my suggestion to you is to clear yourself daily. Just ask the angels to help clear you, to shield you, to protect you. You can perform some Reiki healing on yourself. Yes, you can do self Reiki healing to get rid of the negative energy from the collective. Now, for your twin flame divine masculine, if you happen to be picking up on the energy of your divine masculine, if your divine masculine is down, depressed, anxious, worried, or if your divine masculine happens to be going through their own dark night of the soul, you can give back to your divine masculine what is theirs so that you can once again feel empowered within yourself. Now it is very simple. It's a very simple process. I have done this in the past when I felt very heavy from my divine masculine. I felt his heavy energy and I felt that he was in a bad place. He was sad and depressed and I wanted to give him back what was his. I didn't want to carry around his negative energy because he needed to go through what he needed to go through. And I certainly didn't need to go through that additionally to what I was already going through. So all I did was say to my divine masculine, I love you, I care for you, and I give you back what is yours. I give you back your energy, I give you back the negativity, I give you back your sadness. Whatever emotion you tend to be feeling that you are picking up from your divine masculine, you can give it back to them and say, this is yours to handle. This is no longer mine to handle. Maybe in the past I picked up on your energy and what you're going through right now, but now is the time that I care for myself and I don't need to pick up on your twin flame energy that you're working through right now because that's not my place. Just make sure that what you are feeling, the deep pain, that you're feeling on the inside is your pain and not somebody else's pain. Because honestly, that can make a humongous difference 
and how you feel on the day to day on your twin flame journey. Now, of course, if the pain is yours, go back to number one and look at it, work through that pain. But know that once you work through your pain on a continual basis, especially the bulk of the work in the beginning of your twin flame journey, rest assured divine feminine that if you take care of number two and number three, if you take care of those two aspects, then the pain that you feel will be alleviated by a lot. So just know this twin flame and then you will feel more empowered. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other Divine Feminine Twin Flames. And thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel. You can buy one of my 10 published books. You can join a boot camp or a meditation course. You can also book a reading. All the links are below. And I will see you in the next video.